What's going on, y'all? Um, day 11. Day 11 in like three hours. Um, I took maybe three and a half, four grams of Kratom. I think like six capsules I took. And I didn't do any Xanax. I ran out of Xanax probably four or five days ago. Um, I smoked weed today. Feel not bad. Um, just the relentless thinking of dope. Just it just feels like I'm just you know thinking about an ex girlfriend or something. It's weird. I'm just trying to hold on for dear life, you know. Eleven days clean. I'm not looking back. Um, still have uh, the bubble guts. Um, still have severe anxiety. Still have restless body. Shit's fucking strong, man. I just told a story to my girl yesterday because I OD'd. I, mean, I did OD'd, I OD'd maybe twice, but I really just counted one time. I'm talking like actually dropping out. One time I fucking like passed out after doing after doing a line of dope in my buddy's car, and I was gasping for breath and shit. And that's when I told myself I'd never do it again. Then I did Opanas, and I did it again. But I remember, like, I'll never, I remember, like, I'll never, never in my life have I ever got, after that, my tonsils is so high, you know, I, I never felt like the heroin was even that strong. I would actually complain that the heroin wasn't strong enough all the time. But one time, um, my buddy, he had a buddy, I guess he got pure fentanyl, and his buddy cut the pure fentanyl five one gram of pure fentanyl to five grams of cut. So that's 20%. And he gave one of those grams to my buddy. My buddy took that 20% uh, gram and he cut that with two grams of cut. So he turned that 20% gram into 6.5% gram, like three 6.5% fentanyl grams, you know what I mean? And at the time I was probably doing a gram a day. I mean, I could do two grams a day and be cool. You know what I'm saying? I just didn't have the money to, but I've done it. I need at least a half a gram just to not get sick. But, uh, dude, I, I this 7.5% fentanyl that I did, I did a 0 0.2, man. 0.25, maybe. Like, I did a point. I shit you not, I did a point. I felt okay. I did another point. I felt all right. And I was like, mm, maybe I'll do it in like a half a point now. Probably in like a, in like a 10-minute setting, I did a half a point. Next thing you know, man, I just, I'm thirsty. So I got out, got out of my room. I walked over to my kitchen. Next thing you know, I fucking, I think I'm dreaming and I feel my body like hitting the ground, like keep hitting the ground over and over and over again. And it just feels like I'm in like a weird dream, right? Next thing you know, I wake up and there's fucking paramedics around me and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I just like literally came here to get a drink and I just passed out, I guess. My parents said I was like mumbling stuff and puking and rolling around and shit. Like, I guess, I don't know, man. I don't know what the f I don't remember shit. I was going, I was out for like 30, 35 minutes and I just remember like the, like the last 30 seconds upon waking up, just like feeling like I was like getting back into consciousness, I guess. But like, what does it feel like to OD? I don't know if they hit me with Narcan. I, I didn't ask them. I played it off. As soon as I woke up, they were like, what drug did you use? Like, what did you use? I said, huh? I don't, I, I don't do drugs. And they're like, you didn't do no drugs? I said, no, I smoke weed. And they said, was it street weed or was it dispensary weed? And I said, it was street weed. And they're like, oh, there's, a, there's some street weed going around that's been fucking people up. So I was like, oh, okay. So that must have been it. You know, they fucking pretty much covered for my, for my ass. It was insane. It just, I didn't even have, it was almost like the devil had my, had my back. And he was doing anything possible to keep me on heroin. But I, I convinced my whole family, all my friends, that when I OD'd, that someone gave me fucking bad pot. But, yeah, man, shit's fucking crazy. It's like, I fucking smuggled heroin through a damn plane. I, mean, I had to be the best man of, of uh, my buddy's wedding in Seattle. And, like, I can you know, I'm there for four days, so it's like four or five days, and my dope man, I was out, 
I remember I bought a gram that day right before I left. I did a point four, and I, I was like, shit, all I got is point six. I might as well fucking not do no dope until I get to Seattle. So as soon as we touch down to Seattle, dude, we got the Reagan in DC. That motherfucker looked like a prison. As soon as I walk up, I thought I was gonna get hemmed up. I went through the body scanner. As soon as I went in that bitch, motherfucker started picking my pockets and looking in my uh, my cuffs and my pants and shit. Dude, dude, no, something, but I, I took some of my dope and I just cut an end of a glove. So I put the dope in there, tied it up real good, sprayed it with cologne, and I shoved it underneath my deodorant stick and stuck it back in the deodorant fucking housing. And that's what I did, but I was so fucking scared, man. Because Reagan, if you've been to Reagan National Airport, you know that much, they don't fuck around there, dude. My dumb ass was hurting so bad. I fucking traffic dope on a plane, dog. No lie. I got to Seattle. I mean, all I had was point six. I was doing at least a point five a day. You know, snorting just to just to fucking um, you know not get sick. So I literally let me that point six last until the day of the wedding. I would, I didn't snort it, I would, I smoked it. If I had a needle, I would've shot it up. I swear to God I would have, just to make that shit stretch. It was that bad. I know what you guys are thinking. You're in Seattle, there's so many fucking dope heads. Why didn't you just go out there to find dope? So, well, I couldn't because my girlfriend was right beside me at all times and no, she doesn't know that I do dope. And what the fuck am I gonna look like talking to a fucking bum? You know what I mean? The only time that I could go out there to search for dope was at like 6 a.m. in the morning when she's fucking sleeping. And what kind of bums are out at 6 a.m.? You know, bums don't wake up that early. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't start going moving around until 1 or 2 o'clock. That's when my girl wakes up. So it was just like I could not find dope. I remember I seen a dude not now, and I just, I just was so like, damn, I wish I was fucking, you know what I mean, by myself so I can fucking ask. I would be like, dude, give me 50 bucks. I'll give you 50 bucks to buy me a 50 bag, whatever the fuck. It was that, it was that desperate, dude. But, 11 days clean. I won't be, I won't ever do dope again. Guarantee you that shit, man. Guarantee you that shit. Now I smoke weed. I don't think there's anything wrong with weed or psychedelics, but I'm not, I'm not ever doing heroin again. 11 days clean. All right, y'all.